Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer, reporting to you here today with Bob Beatty, Farm Advisor Emeritus for the UC Cooperative Extension. Um, here today to talk about uh, boron deficiency versus, you know, an irrigation issue. Uh, how to tell the difference. Uh, th this year we've got an abundance of water and so things might be get a little confusing as to determine what what it might be. Could you tell us um, tell us how to determine? Well, Matthew, the point that you're referencing is that typically in the early season, growers are anxious to start irrigating and do the things that the that they love to do, uh, at least while it's still cool and they're and they're fresh for the season, and. Uh, one of those things is to run some water and get some uh, nitrogen or NPK in the soil in order to give the trees a boost, especially after a wet season like this when it's conceivable that you've had uh, some leaching of nutrients that have occurred. And we're referencing now young trees, trees in the second and third, maybe fourth growing seasons rather than mature trees, which have a much more extensive root system and do not qualify for this discussion. But in, with young trees, uh, with a limited root system, um, the, the danger that you have is in starting your irrigation too early because <clears throat> there is a limited root system and the soils, in, in especially on the west side where you, your textures are more clay loam in nature, uh, certainly in a sandy soil like you had in Merced or Stanislaus or on the east side of the valley, uh, your your uh, cation exchange capacity and the texture of the soil is such that you're not really worried too much about deoxygenating the soils. But these soils have been wet, and for that reason, I think it's wise that people just hold fire on the water until they begin to see the trees budding out and developing some leaf area. Check your soil water content, see how it's going, and allow yourself a little bit of room, a little bit of depletion in the soil water contents before you begin to initiate your irrigations. Uh, one of the reasons I'm mentioning this is that uh, you could possibly find that, the, that under wet soil conditions that the leaves begin to leaf out and take on what you might think is a herbicide appearance where the, 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 the leaves are very misshapen and the margins of the leaves are very irregular and, and, and kind of a waffly and, and the first thing that you might think of is that it's boron deficiency. Mm -hmm. But I would have you um, check the soil water content to see whether or not the ground is excessively wet because recent uh, studies by Dr. Bruce Lampinen at UC Davis are suggesting that these irregular wrinkled leaves that we have seen in, for many years in the pistachio industry are actually related to overwatering and wet soil conditions. Not enough oxygen. In not the soil. enough oxygen in the soil and it's not boron. When you look at it first you think well gee this is boron and you asked earlier in our conversation well how do I tell if it's boron or whether it's just too much water? Well obviously you get out with the soil auger or the shovel and you dig around the trees and you get some assessment that has, has the, how wet the ground is and, if, and then certainly wouldn't hurt to take a tissue sample and, uh, and send it in to see what the early sample says on boron. Um, an early season sample shortly after leaf out, um, I'm guessing now, but I would say that you know it would have to have, um, it would probably have to be around at the very beginning of the season, maybe 40 parts per million to not be deficient. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. K. Uriu always said that in May that you had to have at least 60 parts per million in order to have 90 parts per million in August. And we know now that 90 parts per million is actually just on the marginal part of boron uh, nutrition. You would much rather like to have it up around maybe 120 to 150 parts per million in August. So going back to the May uh, or April of like May analysis where you're trying to assess whether this is a boron deficiency or whether it's too wet, why I would say that if you had 60 parts per million in May, that you certainly are not boron deficient because that would be um, in conjunction with what Dr. Uryu recommended. That's just one example of what of how growers might modify their normal 
agricultural practices for 2019 in a wet year where soil water contents are going to start off high and it's important that we allow the, the soil to be depleted slightly before we begin to uh, initiate both irrigation and fertilization. Great. Thank you for the timely advice. As, as always, Bob does a great job uh, with Orchard Tasks in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, so be sure to not to miss his monthly column. Thank you for all you do. Yep, and happy farming. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.